Welcome back, everybody. I am Aesop Grimm, and we are wrapping up our Skyrim Total Enhancement Project installation for Skyrim Special Edition in 2020. I don't think this is the very last episode, but we're definitely into the final curve, so to speak. So today we're going to be working on the patches. So we will um, create a separator uh, named patches. Okay. Better dynamic majestic mountains. Download it and endorse. Man, did I did I endorse Fennis? Uh, I did not. Okay. Install. Okay. Uh, Crypto Peers Patch Hub and detailed instructions. All right, I think there's going to be a number. Download and install the following patches. Cutting room floor. TCIY. Do they have that in here? Old files. Oh, there it is. They do. See, they have a fill mod installer here, but this was done before this guide was updated, so I've got to believe, even though this sounds nice, uh, but I got to believe that Step knows what it's doing here. They're pretty detail oriented. So I'm going to grab that one. Oh, I have to click it. Mod Manager Download. Endorse them. Okay, then the next one we're going to grab is Improved Closed Faced Helmets, W-A-C-C-F. They're all in alphabetical order. There it is. Uh, next is going to be metallurgy, ingots, and ore, C core. So that's an M. Here it is, C core. Ah, that is not what I meant to do. Metallurgy, open in another tab, slow download. All right, and uh, the last one is unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. That's the uh, UCP for Keiko. That's going to be all the way down here, uh, wherever U is at. There it is. Okay, so once more, we need a cutting room floor. We have it. Improved closed face helmets. We have it. Metallurgy. We have it. An unofficial UCP. We have it. Install, install, uh, merge. Yes, install, merge. Okay, that's that's why I guess it's uh, combining it all into one patch. Okay, we can X out of this. The next thing is Realistic Water 2 patch. Download and install only the landscape fixes for grass mods. 21 files in here. So find L, landscape fixes for grass mods. That's the one we want, and it's the only one we want. Let's uh, give them an endorse. 
and install. Uh, useless patches collection. Detailed instructions. Download and install the main file. Maybe not that useless patches collection. Main file. And uh, throw an endorsement his way or her way, whoever. Install. Okay. Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch notes. Nothing. Click Next. Better dynamic snow patches. We want cutting room floor and Hellarkin Creek. Oh, you know what? I want to look back. I want to... Yeah, there's there's nothing there that I'm using myself. Okay, cutting room floor and Hellarkin. See, you might want some. This is a pretty good mod. Interesting NPCs. I'm not doing it. Not right now, but I might do in the future, and I need to kind of try to remember that there's a patch available here for it. I think this is pretty popular as well. Okay, hit next. Song of the Green Patches, nothing. Audio overhaul. Excuse me, hold on. Man, that's annoying. Sorry about that, guys. Audio overhaul for Skyrim patches. Select nothing. But I want to look at what they have available. Wet, cold. That's nice to pair up with a frozen mod, survival mod. Okay. Weapons, armor, clothing, and cut clutter fixes. We want the choice is yours and cutting room floor. The choice is yours, cutting room floor. You have all these others if you end up uh, wanting to add any of these. There's a, quite a number there when it comes to armor textures. So for you armor aficionados, you may want to take a closer look at that. Cutting room floor patches, RDOSE, uh, relationship dialogue, overhaul. There's enhanced lighting if uh, for ENB, if any of you are not using the weather and lighting for this guide and you want to use that mod. Armor and clothing extension patches, nothing. The forgotten city patches, nothing. Oh, beyond sky, I I'd like to play that sometime. I'm surprised that we're not putting that in. Oh, it's because we don't, I guess we don't have the Forgotten City. Yeah, that's that's it. Okay, recorder, standalone, fully voiced follower patches, uh, nothing. Enhanced lighting for ENB, nothing, because we're not using that. But for those of you that are, you may want to go through that. Immersive sounds, compendium, nothing. And uh, plugins type, nothing. So install. Alrighty then. That's that. And then Skyrim Step Skyrim SE patches. This is for this guide right here. This is their patch to put all this stuff together. So we'll open that and open the detailed instruction. Go to files. Uh, let's throw them in an endorsement. We love Step. Yes, we do. Download and install Step Skyrim SE Conflict Resolution Patch main file. Conflict Resolution Patch. This is conflict resolution. Updated 16 June. So, see, that's even a later date than what this guide is updated at. Um, so, they stay on top of things. All right. If the optional audiovisual lighting and weather mod group was installed, 
which it was for me. Also install Step Skyrim SE Core light, Lighting and Weather Patch optional file. Okay, install, click OK, and uh, that means there's a second file here. There it is. Mod Manager requires completion of the Step SE Core guide. Download, slow download. Is it endorsed? Yep, everything's, this page is endorsed. And install, okay, and merge it. Let's tick all those off. Okay. Sorting and cleaning the new load order. Before moving on, users should run loot, sort, and accept the default load order provided. We will go ahead and do that. Well, you know, mm -mm 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 -mm. let's let's not do that yet because that's that's repeat work that I don't need to do just right at this moment. What I do need to do is install my mods. Uh, let's see, they are on D drive in here, and I keep them right here. No! What happened, says I. I know I had them. Did I drop them into another folder? Hold on, I might have to put you guys... On. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't have them downloaded. I, oh, that's right. Okay. Here. <laughs> Man, I was totally like, oh, no. I have a note here. These are the ones that I want to add. So we're going to look them up. Let's go to Skyrim SE Nexus. All right. Finnis Creature Pack. So, Finis, we'll go here, and it's actually, and I don't know, I don't think I have anything loaded that'll necessarily use it. I just have it like as a just in case, because maybe I find something in the future that I want. And uh, I, it seems to be something that people use quite a lot. I don't know what for, maybe... um. There's some animal mods out there that, uh, what do they call it? Oh, what do they call it? Uh, darn it, I can't remember the name of the mod. But it's it makes animals a lot more realistic. They become pretty dangerous, actually. Um, maybe that does stuff here. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to go ahead and download it. Just because I see it mentioned. Whenever I read about Fennis. Okay, so now over here, and I'm going to install that, and I want to merge it with the existing Fennis mod right here. So that's all. That's all taken care of now. It's part of this mod here. Next, I want auto unequip shield to back. I just love how how it looks. Although, I have to admit, I was running into some annoying issues that flared up every now and again. But at least as of right now, I'm willing to live with it because I just, I like it so much. All right. Durr, uh... I don't know necessarily the difference here. ESP and ESL. ESP files are plugins that are loaded by the game engine. They contain, for example, quest scripts and data for races and a lot of other stuff. There's a limit to how many ESP and ESM files are. ESL files are a variation of ESP 
files that were created for the creation club. They work basically the same as ESP and ESM files, except they are restricted in how much they can store and don't count towards the plugin limit. ESA file, so huge mods have to be ESM or ESL. Smaller mods can be ESL and they do not count towards your limit of 255. Okay, well then let's go with ESL. And uh, I do remember our guide opting for ESL as often as they could, it seemed. Hold on, click back. All right. Open in that tab, and then here's the update. Contains only the fixed follower script, requires installed main file. Either ESP or ESL. So we'll open that as well. Let's give the endorsement while I'm thinking about it. Slow download and slow download. How are we doing on time? We're, we should be fine. We're 16 minutes, okay. Uh, back shield, this is the main mod. Okay, and this is the update patch. Okay, and I want to merge it. Okay, now that loaded to right here. I want to bring this up to my animations. There's a locations, interface, gameplay, quests and stories, immersion economy, AI and combat, general. Fixes, character appearance, sounds and music. Oh, extenders resources foundation. Animations. Okay, this is it. Um, I'm going to put it in alphabetical order and hope that doesn't do anything weird. And I'll activate it. Okay. Now, down here I noticed this needs to be caps. Okay. Next. I'm not going to install this. This is uh, pretty nice for immersion, I think. It just adds some nice animations for a whole slew of things like um, um, looting, opening chests, looting barrels, looting corpses, stuff like that. But I find that actually it slows me down a lot and ends up just simply kind of annoying me. So it's a nice mod, and a lot of people like them. And if you want to do a role-playing, full immersion, hardcore kind of thing, probably a really good good mod to get. But uh, I'm going to pass on it. Now, this is the character overhaul that I was talking about. And it's probably going to overwrite a bunch of stuff of mods that I downloaded. But uh, as I mentioned, the way that Skyrim did things, at least on my monitor and with the lighting that I had, uh, the, or the way Step did things, the the characters, and I would say the ladies in particular, their makeup looked so severe, uh, and their faces seemed very unnaturally angular, you know, like in the cheekbones and stuff, and the makeup was dark and very strong. And they were all like that. I, I was a little surprised that, the, that there wasn't a lot of variety. So uh, I am going to install this to try. It, it doesn't make it great, honestly, but it is a bit of an improvement, I think. And so that's what I'm going to go with for right now. I do not want the nude version. Let's see. We're using the UNP body. So it's based on the UNP body. Notice if you use the previous version, delete all the files. Based on vanilla body. I think we've been using UNP. You know what? I Oh, wait, we got that texture pack. Yeah, we use UNP. I'm pretty sure of it.
and we need to wreck them. Endorse. Oh, I can't. You have to download the mod in order to endorse it. Your download is started. Oh, it's going to take a minute. Let me put you guys on pause. Oh, not that one. This one. All right, guys, I'm back. And I want to show you something, how I figured this out. I think what I need is this one, the vanilla body. And the way that I figured this out was I went back to the step guide. I came up here to character appearance. This is why I remember us using UNP. It's here, tempered skins for females, UNP. And then it's here as well, vanilla body with UNP textures. What this mod right here is for explicitly is um, it's using the UNP textures like the face and stuff like that but puts them over the vanilla body i guess and and however it does that what it does is it covers up the nipples the, the nipple problem peeking out from outfits and stuff i guess which is more in line with the vanilla game right uh and so what we're doing here is this installed the UNP version of the body. And then this one here I don't think this used UNP but this vanilla body with UNP textures is overwriting this i i suspect i think that's what's happening so i have the unp version right here but i'm gonna go ahead and delete it because i think what we want is this one All right, now I'm going to put you back on pause because this is going to take a, a while. And hopefully what this is doing is showing you guys kind of how to troubleshoot and to the best of your ability use what you act, what you think is logic, you know, and see if you can make the best guess that you can. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, welcome back. I now have the vanilla Wiko Special, Winsong Special Edition. It really does a whole lot of things. It does makeup, it does body smoothing and stuff like that. And that's why I use it. It's kind of an all-in-one thing and uh, pretty, pretty popular. Install everything except optional files. Except optional. Let's go with custom. I want to see what they have available here. USEP compatible patch. The, this option adds two Dawn Guard faction followers in the fort. No, I don't want that. Uh, NSFW, guys, I'm sorry. Um, this option covers the core files with the less dirty body textures. I don't care about that. Less flush face. Oh, maybe this option covers the core files with the less flush face textures. I'm I'm going to try that. That might help with that darkening effect I'm seeing. I'm telling you, they look pretty severe to me. Um, the Witcher gear sets? Huh, no thanks. That's interesting, but I'm not going to add it to this. Uh, not a native speaker? That's okay, man. You... I can understand you. Uh, okay, install.
X out of here, and we'll grab Wind Song, move it up to our character. Overhaul area. Fixes, I think this is it. Character appearance. It's a W, Q, R, S, T, U, V. It'll be the last one. And we'll check mark it. Okay. All right, now what's next for me? Violins. Oh, that's pretty good. Skyrim SE Nexus. It's a kill move mod. I liked it. And this is an animation mod. Uh, J containers required. Okay, so I'll need. Oh, oh, it'll give us a hyperlink. Okay, mod manage. Open up J containers. We're going to have to get this. This is the one we want. And I don't know. I don't think this is an animation. I better endorse some. Um, extends the papyrus scripts. Okay, so not an animation. It, it's a, like a utility. It'll go up there with papyrus scripts. Okay, now I need violins. Violins. And uh, endorse. Okay, both of them have downloaded, so I'm going to come up here and I want to make sure I endorsed this one. Yeah, see, I forgot. Within, you cannot rate a file within 15 minutes of downloading it. Oh, okay. Well, that's too bad. Um, install this one. Move this all the way up to the top. It goes with Papyrus. There's Papyrus. Maybe CDFG, so J goes right there. And then we will install this one. Oh, snap. Core files, archive or loose. The interface scripts for source folders for violence SE will be packaged as BSA. Will be loose. Ah, I really don't know. I'm going to go with archive. Three pre-made customized Killmove profiles. Vanilla defaults, violence matched, and violence mixed. Uh, profile system requires J containers. Okay, so if I have any problem with J containers for some reason, then I cannot use this. And I think that that means I won't need J containers. But I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Now this is an animation mod, so we got to bring it up. I think that was right above all the gameplay stuff. Oh no, it was further up than that. It's up at the top actually, after foundation I think. Yeah, okay, V comes before X. There we go. All right, what do I have next? ENB helper. This one right here. 
All right. Um, what does this do? Does nothing by itself, but it's used by ENB to enable extra features, such as. I think weather seasons, I think that's what this helps provide support for. Download it and endorse it. Install, okay. We'll actually keep this one at the bottom. I'll make a, a well, no, because I'm not going to have an ENB section. Uh, this needs to go utilities, I guess. Okay, next is going to be Skyrim is windy. I uh, keep closing that out. Skyrim is Wendy. Make Skyrim appear more Wendy. I might not need that with that new weather system. I, I might I didn't think about that. Okay, where would this go? Not utilities. I guess it would be lighting and weather. Right here. And then blowing in the wind works nicely with it. Oh, wait a minute. I need to endorse. Blowing in the wind. Download it. Uh, this is the ENB I found that I, I use, but I, I also grabbed this. I'll talk about that more probably in the next video. Uh, we're at 33 minutes right now. Let's go ahead and grab this one though. Silent Horizons. And we are not going to take the actual ENB. But, um, this optional file, Solar Cleaner, I, I discovered this on accident, combined with Ominous ENB. Is it Ominous? I think there's a different ENB that I use. I'll figure out what it is, guys. We'll, we'll look at that in the next video. But I want to get this mod right now. Okay, and that does it for those. Let's install Blowing in the Wind. Skyrim is windy region, yet hanging lanterns and signs outside stores and inns are unaffected by the strong winds. This subtle immersion mod enables them to do so. Uh, we're on Special Edition. SMM signs, medium weight, mixed lanterns. And then uh, we are not using expanded towns and cities. So we can install. And that will go right here, I guess. Unless it's an animation.
It doesn't say it needs finis. I think it's more of a physics thing than an animation. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and install this one. Remove sun glares and lens flares from the base game to ensure compatibility with all ENB shaders and avoid overlapping of effects. We use Cathedral Weathers and Seasons. Install. Okay, now that. I guess I'll put it up here. Oh, it's an S silent right here. Even though it's actually more for an E and B, but I'm gonna class I'm gonna categorize it here with lighting and weather. Okay, guys, let's call an end to this episode. And hold on. Silent Horizons. I believe I've already endorsed it. I want to make sure. Oh, I did not. There we go. This is my backup ENB, guys. It, it does a very good job for what I would call a natural look. If I, if we get to a point in the game where I'm like, oh, that's what a um, Horizon Seal problem is, and I don't know how to fix it, because the, the solution I see out there is an easy one, but it requires the creation kit, which I can't seem to get my hands on. Uh, then I will just revert to this one because it was nice. It's just not austere like what I prefer for a windswept, ice-encased northern region. Right? So, um, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. I guess actually while I'm here, I will... I will manually download this so that I already have it on hand because I need to teach you guys about the ENB manager I have also. There's ENB helper, okay, which I already got. And that'll be saved. And then I'll let you guys know what the... Uh, the other ENB is called. I have to look it up and find out. All right. We're already pretty lengthy on this episode. So I am Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by this channel. I hope you like what you saw, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.